No. I like purple. Purple looks good, right? I don't know. It, it's not that deep, honestly. Hello people and welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and if you are new don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Oh, I need my notebook. Hold on now. So today I'm going to be telling you guys a few tips for if you are a new student in the game called Gateway Program and you want a head start or you just want to know a couple things before you get started. These are a lot of tips that I wish I knew before going into the program so just I would have a better grasp on things. Side note, I feel like this is like the best setup ever. I'm actually home for spring break right now and like this is like amazing. Like I'm very proud of myself. All right, so I'm gonna start off this video with a little few facts about me just so you guys have an idea if you've never seen any of my videos before. Like I said, my name's Jazlyn. Um, I'm in the Gamecock Gateway program right now. I actually just submitted my transfer application to the University of South Carolina, which is pretty exciting. I don't, I'm not really sure when I find out, but I'm very excited because I want to transfer to USC, of course. That's why I'm in the program. <laughs> um, my major, I'm a business management major, which is one of the most competitive majors to get into from the Gamecock Gateway program just because so many people want to transfer. So business and nursing are the most two competitive majors, which is, you know, great for me. <laughs> um, right now, my GPA is a 3.6, which is really good because the competitive GPA for the business major is a 3.5 but in reality you need a 3.25 to transfer. I'm just trying to keep my GPA as high as it can be because like I don't know how many people are transferring next year so I just want to get in. Last fact about me is that I am a Gamecock Gateway Ambassador, which basically means throughout the summer when all you guys who are gonna be going into the Gamecock Gateway program next year, you'll see me because I'm gonna be there helping you guys transition. And if you have any questions about the program or about college in general, I'll be there, which is really cool. And I saw some of you guys there, which is really cool. Um, I was recognized by a couple parents, which was uh, honestly really cool. I didn't think a lot of people would see my video, so. All right, so we're gonna get started with the tips. Um, I broke these tips down into two categories, so we we have academic and we have personal. These are just some tips that I've gathered along the semester and sort of semester and a half that I've been in the program just so you guys have a better understanding of what the program is. First thing we're going to talk about are academic tips for you guys. First tip I have for you guys is to have your 30 credit hours. These, this is one of the things that you have to have in order to transfer to USC is your 30 credit hours. So you want to make sure when you talk to your advisor off the bat that you make sure you got your 30 credit hours, the classes that you need, if you need specific classes for your major, that you just have that down pat because that's like one of the most important things. Second is the GPA requirement for majors. So I don't know all the requirements, but I know business is a 3.5. Um, other degrees either need like a 2.75 or the minimum requirement for some majors is a 2.5. I'm pretty sure it's a 2.25 is like the lowest for some majors. So just depending on your major, you wanna make sure you have the minimum GPA requirement so you are good to go when you transfer. The next thing I have is to talk to your advisors. These people should be your best friend, um, my advisor, because these people create your schedules. <laughs> Um, they can help you along in your college process just if you have any questions or anything like that. Sort of have a relationship with your professors. Um, um, last semester my business communications professor was amazing. Um, he helped me with my resume because I applied for the Gamecock Gateway position this semester. So next thing I highly, highly recommend is to plan out your day. Have a planner on you, just make sure you have a way to write down your homework, write down your classes, write down anything that you need to do that day just so you're not trying to remember everything in your head. Like this is February and I just, I color code each of my classes just so, just so I know like I get to the days, I do the same thing where I color code code each day and like if I have an important day it'll be in yellow just something like that just so I this is the way I keep myself accountable and like prepared for all my classes I'm gonna tell you now you're not gonna remember everything that your teachers tell you you're not so you need to go out and buy you one of these things or get one of those apps on your phone the last academic tip I have for you guys is to check your email and use D D2L regularly so Obviously you get an email, your USC email and your Midland Tech email. 
make sure you guys are checking that frequently because they send out weekly weekly newsletters just to update you guys with things that's going on especially time when you're transferring because they send out the transfer applications and they have like a two week period so you want to make sure you have that and your professors are obviously going to send out when classes are canceled or if you have stuff coming up they're going to email you so make sure that you have the email app on your phone so those are all the academic tips now we're going to move on to the personal tips that i think you guys should incorporate into your daily lives just so you're not overwhelmed and stressed out with college because that was definitely me okay the first tip i have is to get involved now i'm not saying that you need to join like five million different clubs and organizations and like get a job and all that stuff like no try to do one thing that you like to do and get involved next thing is to know why you're there and your number one goal is to transfer to USC that's the whole reason you're in the program know that you want to get your degree in four years like you just have to know your goals and try not to slack off lady ever that works there she told us to take a break just take one day for yourself each week just to relax to have a breather day and just focus on yourself watch your favorite movie or tv show or whatever you want to do just take a break because college gets really stressful the last tip i have for you guys is to have snacks in your backpack for class. Unless you have a whole bunch of money to be spending on snacks every day in the bookstore, I recommend to take snacks with you to class. Um, I take about two to three snacks in my backpack every day just so I'm not wasting my money and I'm not starving in class because then you're not gonna focus. You're just gonna focus on how hungry you are. All right, so those are all the tips that I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to make any more videos about the Gamecock Gateway or if there's any other questions that you have about the program. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.